guys, Billy Bob just left <laughs> in his diesel truck. Look at this thing. OMG. I love it. Like, love it. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Propane Furnace, Mr. Heater, Big Buddy, Bad Boy, whatever it's called, Big Buddy, I think. Uh, awesome, puts off a lot of heat. Uh, Earl is not properly insulated yet, so not enough to heat Earl, but if he was well insulated, I think it would be. Problem, uh, burning that much propane in the side Earl gets off a lot of water. Uh, so not ideal. It definitely would reduce the condensation of the ceiling once it's insulated because of the temperature difference, blah, blah, blah. But the, item number one, Big Buddy is not going to do the trick. Item number two, that uh, infrared box heater is... <sighs> I'm, it's great in a house. I'm sure I'm not bashing the product. I'm sure it's a great product, but for what I need it for, it's just not even remotely close to being enough. So what would be enough? Well, let me tell you what would be enough. What would be enough is if I had a wood burning stove, a small wood burning stove. So I did some research. Actually last year I had looked at small um, wood burning stoves and I priced them and they're kind of pretty, ex well, not pretty expensive, but they're like four or $500, which I was like, I don't know, there's way more economical options. But obviously, who doesn't love the aesthetics of a cool cast iron wood stove? So I did some research uh, last night and what did I find? Well, first of all, I found that these stoves are 150 pounds, and so I found places online where I could get them for like 350, 300, 400, but the shipping was going to be another $175 at least. So I finally found, uh, I found them at Ace Hardware, and Ace Hardware would ship it to store for free, and there's an Ace Hardware not far from where I'm at in Missouri. So that was the solution. But then I thought, wait, what if I could find a used one for even less? So I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found a used uh, small cast iron wood burning stove. It has some rust on it, um, but I found it for 150. I talked the guy down to 120 because there was another brand new one listed for $100. So I know you're thinking like, why would you have gotten the used one? for $20 more? Well, because number one, uh, as long as it's in as good of shape as he says it is, cast iron stoves last forever. So, you know, unless there's uh, cracking or structural damage, I mean, it's it's th basically the same as a new one. Uh, except for the fact that it has some rust, it's worn in, which I like. I mean, I'm gonna have to treat it. I'm not gonna let it just like rust away wildly. But I love that it has some age on it. It looks very, uh, in and so anyway I'm just so darn excited it's, it puts out something like 60,000 BTUs a wood-burning stove of that size does which if anything I'm probably going to be too hot I'm gonna have to open windows so that's amazing um, I'm like, so excited about the aesthetic you know I wasn't sure I wanted a wood stove because I wasn't sure I wanted to devote that much real estate within Earl to a wood stove when I didn't plan on being cold places very often but now that I'm in cold places I'm realizing that like I want to be in cold places occasionally and I want to have enough heat so uh, really excited we're on the way we should be there in 10 minutes so let's go pick this thing up we're just picking it up from a stranger Billy Bob is his name and I'm not joking <laughs> Billy Bob you guys Billy Bob just left <laughs> in his diesel truck look at this thing OMG I love it like love it it definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit I definitely want to get the rust off I probably need to protect it in some way I mean I don't want it to keep rusting but I love how aged it is oh this was a good find okay guys where am I I am at Ikea uh, I have some ideas I'll tell you about them when we get inside I'm about to wet my britches. Okay, 
Okay, so we're at Ikea. Here's why we are at Ikea. I'm considering uh, either just using a pull-out sofa for my sofa in Earl, or modifying an Ikea sofa uh, instead of completely building my own from scratch. So like any good Ikea trip, it should start in the as-is section. So let's see what they have. Okay, they were not stoked about me filming in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know. I found some things that might be okay. I'm not sure. I I don't think so, unfortunately. But I did see some other stuff that I need, and some other stuff that gave me some other ideas. And I think it was a good brainstorming trip. Oh, I did get this this cool thing. It's a mirror. It's going to my bathroom, and I think I can use my hydrochloric acid and age it. Not the mirror. Oh, maybe the mirror. What would happen to the mirror? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so I'm here with my main man. <laughs> Where's here? Guess. That's right. <laughs> Always we're at Lowe's. Um, I was just checking my phone real quick and saw some insulated stovepipe on Facebook Marketplace and I am going to drive an hour to go pick it up. <laughs> I'll tell you more about it. Okay, I'm at Lowe's for the third time in the last two days, and I think I need this, right? Don't I need an axe? I think I do. I think so. <clears throat> so I got the stovepipe. It's amazing. It's, um, uh, it's like worn in. I mean, it's used. It's like used, used, but it was so inexpensive, and it's perfectly fine. It looks great. It's safe. It's just, you know, not pretty. So here we are in the stovepipe section. I just have to get a few last pieces and I think we're ready for this weekend. Hey guys, uh, sorry for the overdramatic hat, but it's cold <laughs> and this is really warm. Um, hey, what are we doing? Well, let me tell you, uh, we're gonna start cleaning this bad boy up because I think, uh, no, I don't think, I know this weekend we're gonna get him installed. I've got everything. I've got I have everything that I need almost to get him installed so I think it's gonna happen this weekend so let's start working on this let's see see how it goes the first thing that has to happen is I'm gonna use a steel brush to get as much of the surface rust which is all that we have I think um, I'm gonna use this brush to get all the surface rust off of this bad boy and once that's done, then we will treat it with some uh, protectant oil, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So let's get this rust off. This is kind of wild. It's actually like, like the rust comes off. This is just a, you know, super strong wire brush, but the rust is like, I mean, I'm not just brushing it off, but it's like kind of coming off. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on. <laughs> I'm just so interested to see how this stove takes the oil that I put on it to finish it, the linseed oil, um, because, you know, a lot of the rust is coming off, unfortunately, as I, which not unfortunately, <laughs> I want it to come off, but, you know, some of the cool colors and, like, uh, texture are coming off, but, I mean, at the end of the day, like, function is definitely over form. But I do think once I oil it, I think a lot of this rust is going to take a really cool color uh, after the oil uh, is on it. And I still think it's gonna be awesome. I don't know, we'll see. Fingers crossed.
Oh my gosh, okay. I think I got all the rust off. I've got like soot and rust everywhere. Kind of like, I'm like inhaling dust. I'm gonna have the black lung. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how you get black lung. What is the black lung even? Is that the plague? I don't know. You don't get it from brushing a stove. Anyway, we're going to uh, get this hose all hooked up. We're gonna rinse this off and tomorrow we're gonna get some oil uh, all over it. Um, linseed oil, uh, which is industrial flaxseed oil, I think, so the internet tells me. And it's gonna do the trick. It's gonna harden the first time I fire it up. It's going to create like a crazy hard enamel and protect it from further rust, but keep the awesome, gorgeous, uh, aged color that it has. I'm really trying to avoid like just like spray painting it all black with high temp paint and just covering up like all this character that it already has. So hopefully it works. The internet says yes. Hey, hey Jack, what do you think of my wood stove? <laughs> so we're gonna try putting some of this linseed oil on it. Um, apparently this is like an industrial version of flaxseed oil, which you would use for cast iron pots and pans. You should not use linseed oil for pots and pans. It is not food grade, it is not food safe, but it should be perfect for this. So let's put a little on, we're gonna fire it up. Maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow, but we're gonna fire it up, harden that linseed oil, and hopefully we have like an awesome rustic used, but, um, well, hopefully we arrest the rust and stop it from rusting more. So we got it covered in oil and we're thinking that we should um, light it up and let this oil cure. Oh, hi, I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can, subscribe here, you won't miss a thing, or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here, or just click here, watch another video.